So, you want to make a neon sign? Well, let's go ahead and get started. Hey guys, I'm, I'm it's, 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 yeah. What's the intro again? I forget, guys. Hey guys, welcome back to Touch by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender 2.9. Once again, taking a look at how to make a nice neon sign, like you see. Um, and what I want to do is, we're going to get started real quick. So, I, I apologize, we're not using Default Cube again. I know, I'm sorry, guys. I know it's the thing on the channel, but listen, we're going to hit delete. We're going to delete that bad boy, and I'm also going to go ahead and uh, just hit select the camera, and then hit Alt-G and Alt-R to clear the rotation and location, then hit Rx. 90 on my numpad and then left click to confirm that and hit G Y to move the camera backwards I'm gonna select our lamp and hit delete as well because we don't need that so hit shift a and we're gonna add in One thing we're gonna add in a plane now. I know you're gonna be like what, what do you mean? We need a plane why we need a plane we're gonna hit tab to go into edit mode and I'm gonna I'm gonna right click and then subdivide and then now you can see we have subdivisions all over the place. So I'm going to go, go ahead and click one of the vertices on the outside portion. Hold down shift and then select every other vertice that is not the center vertice. So we want to select everything except for this one right here. I'm going to hit delete vertices. And now you can see we have one vertice there in the middle. I can hit G to move it. You can see we're moving it around there. Um, but yeah, I'm going to right click to cancel that movement. Right click. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit E. To extrude this now you see if I hit E and left click to to confirm that movement we can make a lot of different vertices in like a loop kind of fashion so what we're gonna do right now is I'm gonna undo those by hitting control Z and we're gonna hit tab to go back out of edit mode and then I'm go, go, gonna go to the modifiers tab here and hit add modifier and this add modifier we're gonna add in a skin modifier now you can see it's added like a little cube and the reason it's done that is because what we're going to do is um, we're going to extrude this out with the skin modifier, which is making, you know, an actual mesh instead of just a vertice. So hit tab and we're going to go ahead and, and hit E to extrude. And you can see instantly that now we are able to actually extrude this bad boy and actually have, you know, a mesh instead of just one single vertice. This makes it much easier to create shapes than if you were to do it like by just Ex extending a face from a cube or something so as of this point you can see that I have two different meshes and what I've done to do this is really quickly I'll just explain um, now it, it turns into an issue when you have multiple different things like if you want to disconnect this because you know it, it's not always connected like it's neon signs don't look like this it's not connected like that so I hit 7 to go into the top facing view and I just selected one of the vertices and hit shift D to duplicate the vertice. Now this is a single vertice. I'm just going to put it right there. And now if I hit E to extrude, you'll see it kind of goes away, which is really weird. So I'm going to undo that. And what we're going to do is we're going to hit mark root. And now if I hit E to extrude again, you can see now we have that, um, that skin modifier still working, which is very nice. All right. I like it. It's very stylistic. Like there's a very big curl down here. This dot for the eye is kind of strange coming off of the bottom there, uh, the, off the top there, rather. Sorry, um, but I like it uh, quite a bit. But as you can see, you know, um, neon signs aren't square like this, so we have to fix this by going ahead and adding a modifier of the subdivision surface. Now we can go ahead and see that uh, instantly it's much smoother, much nicer, which is quite nice. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and hit this little triangle to downsize uh, the skin modifier. And I'm going to turn the viewport for the uh, um, neon sign for the subdivision surface to 3 for both of those numbers. And then I'm going to go up to uh, object and it's shade smooth. But it's not going to do anything because we have to do that in the skin modifier. I forgot. Shade smooth right there. Um, and then now you can see everything's nice and smooth. Now, like I said, you have a little bit of a rough areas here. So you can go ahead and just grab those vertices at G and move them around until it kind of uh, looks as smooth as you would want. Uh, wherever it is. Where, there it is. Um, but yeah, you can see how you can go ahead and just grab these and move them around to the different areas and get some nice stuff. You can also go ahead and just double tap A to select everything and then create, uh, right click, hit subdivide and create new vertices just in case you think that there's not enough resolution in there somewhere. But you can see you can go ahead and get a really, really smooth result. Like if I were to go ahead and spend some more time trying to get this all nice and smooth. But for now, what I'm going to do is you can see this is pretty much done. What I want to do now is work on the material. So I'm going to hit R to rotate this. Double tap R right there. Hit zero. Hit S to scale it down so it's in the camera's view. Zero on my numpad to go into the camera's view, by the way. Um, these curly, H, that's curly H. This is very curly. Like, what did I do here? This is insane. Anyway, um, we're just going to, we're going to go with it. Um, I'm going to actually rotate it more like that. Yep. Now in the material tab, I'm going to drop down this little button and go to material. Um, now we're going to split my window into two here. 
and go to the shader tab right here actually up here sorry the shader editor all we're going to do after that is we're going to go ahead and go to the uh the modifiers tab here and uh make sure that we have both of these applied the skin and the subdivision surface modifier we're gonna hit uh, sh uh this little drop down arrow and hit apply right there and then hit apply right there as well now what we're going to be doing is um we're going to go ahead and add in another modifier which is going to be the uh, solidify modifier now this bad boy we're going to go ahead and turn the thickness oh not that much the thickness up quite a bit maybe about like point point five ish somewhere around point five ish just so it's a little bit bigger um than the uh the piece underneath as you can see you can see it in there it's uh smaller um and what we're going to do after that is going to go ahead and turn the offset uh, up. We're going to make it so it's not a negative number. Um, so I'm going to turn it to about point, maybe point three, um, somewhere about right there. So it's a little bit thicker, as you can see, which is why I said make it like, you know, as bigger than like tiny. Um, you got to make it a little bit bigger so the things are not, you know, intersecting each other. Um, but I'm going to put it about right three, three, maybe, you know, do whatever you can do that doesn't like intersect like, you know, that. <laughs> And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, apply this as well. So I'm going to apply that solidify modifier. Now we have this, which is kind of crazy, but I'm going to hit this uh, uh, viewport. No, not that. No, no, no. We're going to hit this button right here, which is the x-ray button. As you can see, if I zoom in, we have two different things here. We have the one on the inside, and we have the one on the outside, which is very nice. So I'm going to try and go ahead and, and, and uh, hover my cursor over top of the one on the inside and hit L. And then we'll do that for all these pieces. So hover our cursor over top of that, hit L, and then L. Oh, I'm getting lucky. Wow. Sometimes you will pick the big one like that, um, but if you do, just hit Control Z and undo it until you get all the pieces in the inside. Very nice. Now I'm going to go to the, mod the material tab. Sorry, hit this little plus button and add in a new material, which is going to be a right here uh, emission, and then hit a sign. Now you can see if I hit tab to go back out of edit mode, turn X-ray off and go back to render viewport shader. You can see that we have this very nice looking emission kind of thing going on and we still have the glass texture on the on the top um, if I turn the IOR up or down you can see it gets thinner or thicker so if I turn it down you can see about maybe point uh, maybe about one you can see it looks really really good I'm gonna turn the um, I'm gonna turn the uh, emission of the the strength of the emission up to about five is I'm going to grab the glass and we're going to make this a different color. So I'm going to make this like the color that I want the neon sign to be. So I'm going to do like a blue color um, like that, which looks good. So now you can see it looks like this. Um, I'm actually going to turn the IOR up like like that. Um, maybe 1.2. 1.2 is kind of thick. We'll do 1.1. 1.1, and then I'll turn the the emission of the the strength of the emission up uh, maybe to like 30. It's a pretty bright neon sign, but I like it. I like it. Uh, but yeah, so that you can see you can make a lot of different shapes. You can make hearts. You can make whatever else uh, in the same fashion. And you can also change the color of the emission node, but th I mean, that's not like the best. I think the best way to do it is do it with the glass and then just have the color be very bright actually obviously with the brighter colors you got to turn the emission down from 30 like if it's green it's gonna have to be like sitting on five but yeah i really really enjoy this i uh hope you ladies and gentlemen did as well um you can add in a couple of other things here i'll really quickly add in a noise texture shift a search noise right there and then just put the color into the no, no not the color not the color not the color get out get out uh, the color into the roughness of the, uh, the, the, sorry, the noise into the roughness of the glass and then turn the scale up a little bit and maybe the detail as well. So you have a nice looking like glass. So it actually has a little bit of texture to it rather than just being smooth like that. You know, it has actually a little bit of something to it, um, which looks quite good as well. Um, but yeah, so I hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one, but until then, bye bye.